Alright. So we are here in sunny California. Welcome to the shop. Not sure how I'm going to edit this video, but <clears throat> this could be the beginning. This could be in the middle. This could be in the end. But that is what media magic is. So right now, we're working in my dirty shop that I will uh, clean up. Which is going to be fun. I'm hoping that throughout making these videos, you guys will see the progression of actually cleaning my shop. So right now I'm pouring up three different baits. These are all handmade. So I'm getting ready to fish for the weekend. This right here is three inches. I call it my leech. Uh, I've caught a lot of fish on it. Pretty excited. This is my new mold. My new uh, craw I should say as well. And this is called the skeleton craw. A lot of fun still messing around with that and then this is the micro crawl that I make I call it the candy crawl so right now we're pouring up colors I'm pouring up some orders as well and uh, stay tuned keep watching I'm not really sure this is probably gonna be my first YouTube video ever so if you guys have any comments or questions you guys can help out and uh, kind of guide these videos now I tend to listen to music and kind of get in the get in the zone, so we'll see how much talking there is in these videos. But as of right now, my plan is to make some baits and then get some footage of fishing them, just to have some fun. So the next color I'm going to try and go for is a nice green pumpkin. Should be a solid, you know, standard color. Green pumpkin, I would say, is you know an all-around great color for pretty much any fishery. Uh, yeah, I wish I knew how to talk; it'd be even better. So I'm using Dead on Plastics Saltwater Blend, and then I add a little bit of softener, which I like. It adds a unique. I would say kind of action, but I also like to believe that along with the action comes the durability of the salt water. So I'm hoping that the softener helps soften up the bait, give it a little more action, but also has the durability that the salt water blend has. I actually just started pouring jig heads as well. I'm pretty excited about these. This came out really well. I've been messing around with hook size and I think I'm going to settle on a 3 aught hook. Hopefully this is focused, but 3 aught hook is pretty good for the fish I'm fishing for. Uh, I do a lot of harbor fishing, so it's going to include spotted bay bass sand bass and calico bass. We do get occasional white sea bass in the harbor as well as striper. Those are rare but we do get them. Now but the three odd is perfect size. I would say the mainly what I'm going to be catching is spotted bay bass. They have a smaller mouth than all the other ones so that's going to be perfect size. Mm -hmm. 
I'm excited about it. All right, so we're down here, Marina Del Rey. I'm gonna try our luck. We're fishing right now. Fisherman's Village. So we're gonna see how it goes. Been pouring up a lot of new things. I'm pretty excited for it. This is Simon. Hi. I'm Daniel. And hopefully we catch something. Stay tuned. I'm using the Dolan Bates Craw on a Texas rig. I'm gonna see how it does. So the one of the heads that I just made, nice little underspin, using that four inch slug, slightly cut down from the top, just so it fits on the lead head a little bit better. Quarter ounce underspin with, of course, the slugs I make, Dolan Bates. Hooked into our first spot at Bay Bass of the night on that underspin with the slug. Pretty excited. Nice uh, 10, 11 incher. Can't really complain with that. But yeah, hopefully, you get some more. Right there. That's what we like to see. 100% homemade. Got that on the 3 8 jig with the skeleton craw. Stoked on it. Uh, got a nice little sandy on the dark blue and black leech on a Jika rig. Walk around the pole and then see if you can't pull them out from here. Unless I got a rock. Yeah. Going down the red carpet for this fish. Oh, that's a chunk, dude. That's illegal. Holy shit. You gotta retie your leader on that one. <laughs> yeah, dude. Here, turn it over the yeah, side. Yeah, he got under the rock and I opened the line. Just to pull this guy out.
Oh. Just got picked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Little spotty. I knew this fucking fish in these gaps. I know yeah, so it's like, that, that's all I'll do. I'll, I'll fish all the gaps. I'll fish all the pylons. Hey. That one, that one was really slow. I pitched it right there and I just I saw you there I for the whole time. I'm trying to help you out. Stop it. That's a mean one. What the fuck? He's a grump. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Yay. Oh. Oh. That <laughs> was almost a double up. I think I, I think I got that in the back of the film, but I, I let it drop back down. Yeah, yeah. On that good old Jika rig leech. And stuff just and this catching for it, fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, my first catch was here. I just used the uh, squid and mm -hmm. freaking, um, I nice. Shark. I nice. Shark. Yeah, there's there's a ton of stuff over here. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is going to conclude this episode. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Appreciate it.